Matt tune up with Mr. Payne. Let's look at the situation when I would use the cosine law to solve a trig problem. Here I have a triangle that has no 90 degree angles in it. I have two sides and the angle in between those sides. So one of the situations you would use the cosine law is if you are given two sides and the angle between them. The other situation is if you're given three sides with no known angles. There are two forms of the cosine law. The first form is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. It looks a little bit like the Pythagorean theorem. You can always know how to write it out because the letter for the angle is always the same as the letter on the left side of the equal sign. You would use this form if you want to find the third side. So you're given two sides and angle. Here is where I want to find an angle when I'm given three sides and no angles. So it's cosine of c equals c squared minus a squared minus b squared over negative 2ab. This is just a rearrangement of this equation right here. So let's do an example. So case one, I'm given two sides and an angle between those sides. So this is the same triangle as I drew first. I've got 11.1 centimeters, 12.4 centimeters, 74 degrees, and I'm looking for little f. So I'm just going to write out the cosine law with the f squared on the left side equals e squared plus d squared minus 2ed cos f. Remember that the angle here is the same as the letter here. Now I'm going to plug in the numbers that I know. I know 12.4 squared, 11.1 .1 squared, minus 2 times 12.4 times 11.1 .1 times the cos of 74 degrees. And the cos of 74 degrees is approximately equal to 0.2756. Now I'm going to just start working that out. And when I work that out, I get the number 239.04. That's f squared. If I want to get f, I have to take the square root of that number. And when I do that, I get an approximation of 15.5 centimeters. Let's do case number two, three sides with no angles. So here I have a triangle that has one side 10 centimeters, one side 11 centimeters, one side 13 centimeters, and I would like to find angle P. So I'm going to use the other form of the cosine law. Again, the letter but the cosine is the same as the letter of the side opposite it. So that side there, that angle P, goes with 10 centimeters. Now I'll just plug in the numbers that I know. You want to divide negative 190 by negative 286. I get 0 
4, 3. That is the cosine of P. At this point, most students think that's the final answer. It's not. That is the cosine of P. To get the angle P, I will take the inverse cos function and apply it to 0.6643 using the inverse cos function on my calculator. And it's approximately equal to 48.4 degrees. It's approximate because this is a rounded version of the cosine of angle P. The, the, okay? So that's how we use the cosine law. We have one of two cases. We have two sides and an angle between them, or we have three sides with no angles. So we use the two different forms based on the situation and we get the missing side or the missing angle. Thank you for watching. Please revisit this lesson as often as you feel necessary.